Right, hey, try to figure this out. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome, of course, to the UBL Week One <laughs> versus Dalith and his team. Um, now, I've been very, very versed with Dalith because he's a very good player, and I mean, the usual Albert Dalith is, you know, a league above, and um, it had me worried for all the right reasons. So I prepped hard. You hopefully, you guys have saw my team or um, my team planner. If not, make sure to check it out, of course. Um, but just overall, I'm super nervous. I haven't played Lee's in life forever, and the new breed of Rock Ruffs are just, or British Rock Ruffs, believe the crowd, are um, just phenomenal. Like, so I feel with that said, let's see what he brought. Also, I'm gonna like lean to this. The, the, the screen is over here, unfortunately. Oh, this looks the part though. Um, actually, I'm somewhat happy not to see Ribambi. This does mean that I own the speed here with the Salasal. So, it is unlikely that I need to, um, <laughs> like, overcomplicate things. Um, but there are issues here. Rotom's gonna be annoying. Mammoth's one, always annoying. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with Kotal, my, um, Basimian, as it's a Pokemon that does pressure most of the matchups. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll get that one to work. But this is tough. I'm trying to figure like what is the worst scenario, but yeah, Keldir is is like immensely strong for me. Uh, if I'm lucky, he could lead off with Sorark or Mamoswine. If he leads off with Selby, hopefully I can bait him. Um, I mean, like I said, this is a good guy. <laughs> so, is this really amazing? I don't know, calling him Dylan, no matter what. But like I said, he is absolutely one of the better players out there, and... Uh, I just have such mad respect for this guy. Um, let's see, at least with Ollie. Ooh. So that's good, that's a Willow Whisper. And uh, I think he's free if he wants to, to, um, to Volt Switch. I don't have a grounded type with me. Um, so hopefully I can try to abuse that. I'm actually going to go for um, my Magic Bouncer. He switches out. Do not want to deal with that. Goes to... Alright, so this... Is... <laughs> that was the Sora arc. Alright, cool. So... How am I going to go about this? Sora would trick him directly. Um, I think if Volt switch here, if I were him, I'd probably do something like that. Yeah. We're gonna stomach this, all right? Oh, the crate was like that did a lot, but so it's clearly bulky. It's not like physically scary, at least. <sighs> John Junior. All right, that's the mammoth swine. Cool. So I don't want to do anything too scary. He could be a mad lad and actually just go directly for... Like if I were him, i go directly for Stealth Rock here. No way that I force, force my opponent out. Knock off. Cool. And I'll follow it up with um, Volt Switch. I think he's going to switch in say Celebi here. Right? Star. Yeah. So that's great. <sighs> I'm nervous. I play in this way faster than I want to. For left, left throws from that guy. So it's a bulky Celebi. Push spend and double bash, here we go. I have no idea the damage outputs. I just kinda hope uh, that we break apart something. I believe this baits in the Rotom. Um, so he's really thinking about this. So this is not a scenario he wanted necessarily to be at. So that that, that feels good for us. A bit. <laughs> and that's what that. 
Oh, he made that reference once and I'll never forget it. But hey, <laughs> Daddy's checking me out for the, <laughs> for the scenes. Let's see, brings in Ollie. Let's find out. Our on top of Bash will do. That's Rocky Helmets. That's Rocky Helmet. Thing is, if I were him, I probably will always appear to kind of dent me. If he Volt switched, then more power to my opponent, really. Yeah, nice. I think that was a great call. <laughs> that was a great call. I could have gone for another RM Baron Bash, I know that, but I just did not want to take the residual damage. We still did a, get a lot of damage on that Rotom, so we're good. Brings in Alex. Yeah. That's not great. Twisted Dimension turns to normal. Did I even have a plan here versus this? Singing Kotal. I could have gone for a Shadow Ball, but I think he Shadow Sneaks here. Yeah, he does decide to attack at least. I am worried about Substitute, for sure. Let's see, Shadow Ball. Right, so it's special based. And here's where we surprise him. So, uh, we U turn here. Because this sad uh, matchup baits in the Rotom. Sans change? King Shield? You sure? Pull that over the earthquake. That was weird. Racing Ollie. Right, it's the floating one. So we could go for a Willow Wisp here. But at this point, like if I get him out of the way, that's really all I need. <sighs> Bolt switch, fine. Take that with ease. So what would you bring in now? By the way, he was faster than me, so that's some speed investment. Or no, I have no speed investments, that's why. Oh, Keldeo! Connect this. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Does it go for an Ice Wind? Or is it a substitute set? We're gonna frisk Lumberry. Flip turn, nice. Well done. Well done. So this means Salasal is now on a different ball game completely. Kurt. Alright. This is awful. This is not great. Oh, I can't freak from here comes the dark pulse and I have nothing to take down with these. But Steven has done a lot though, so I guess I have a natural sack play, theoretically. Let's see, flame for us, alright. How much? Killer range.
That could be specs, right? I'll do turn anyway. I'll see if it switches up moves. But I feel that it's most likely specs. Gonna send in Orchid and. Uh, thing is, I could go for Nasty Plant. But I think I KO everything here. So I think I'm better off with a Flame Charge, see what it wants to do. I know it's a weird play, but it basically. I deny him his Scarfers, if I get this right. Flame Thrower, cool. And that will do. Yeah, that is absolutely specs. Sludge wave here. <sighs> he could be sashed, but that's absolutely specs. I should have probably predicted that already. John Jr. thing is, can I win? No, I need to somehow break this guy. So I think switching a Rotom is the better call. For now. Earthquake, right? Follow up with a Bolt Switch, I think, again. Because Celebi is always gonna oh, I've come back in. I see Star. Yeah, precisely. And I have two ways of going about this. Making a small risk here. Quick room. Um, he could U turn. He could have taunt for some reason. Withdraw at least. That's fair. Goes to John Jr. and that is Mammoth Swine. I mean, this guy eats me for breakfast. I don't like the idea of... Uh, of him earthquaking freely. But I think that's the play. If he goes for a knockoff, so be it. But... I could go for a healing wish, but I just feel it's too overall risky. We're gonna frisk Azolves. Cool, knock off. We're actually gonna take this quite alright. And uh, do the easy power whip. So Azolves is cool. No wonder he stayed in, now that I think about it. To Ollie. Now we know that's Ollie. Ooh, Rocky Elman, yeah. 
So we are slashes. Hmm, but that means I need somehow to break him. Wolf switch. Ah, it's killer. <laughs> Absolute killer. <laughs> I like that. So Mammoth Swine, Swine, Wine, Swine might very well win this game. Alright, he's need to think about this because I think all of his Pokemon besides so he brings in Alex. It's slower. Um, I'm all switching here. Either he shadow sneaks or let me ball switch. There it is. Shadow ball. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, but we took it like a champ. And now I'm back. So free fire blast. Now we know he has no scarfer, which is good. But also no mammoth swine beats us. Mammoth Swine is now our number one enemy. Right, he does decide to switch out, which I think is fair. Probably going to Rotom. John Jr. Alright, please connect this. Nice. Yeah, you're on deathbed, buddy. <laughs> um, thing is, I don't know the role. And does it doesn't matter because basically if I get this wrong I lose anyway. So let's fire this one off. Because I think if I get a roll here I basically win. And if I connect the fire blast also. Stays in. There it is. Oh, I hate to see it. It's gonna follow it up with an eye short, I know that. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. was not good. Oh, this is not good. Can any of my Pokemon take an earthquake? Oh. Yeah, this is awful. Oh. I gotta take this gamble. I gotta take it. He withdraws. Oh, it's not over. It's not over. It actually kinda is. Basically, I want to see you make a decision on what's supposed to be potentially safer. 
But I think Mao's fine comes in again and like that's it. I'm absolutely in range now. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna do one thing. I have like one itch effort and I don't think it's gonna help me. But I have no plays left. He earthquakes and that's GG. So it's not play Rotom because there is just no no going about it. Um, and I just gotta hope somehow that um, my... Uh, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I gotta somehow stomach an earthquake and go for Trick Room. But if I fail to do so, then my opponent just wins and... Uh, well, it does suck. I also kind of I took that risk with Salasils. You know, I am just just one to blame there. I don't want to watch. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. Um. Okay, I have an idea. As long as it doesn't earthquake, he knows his win con for this. He withdraws. He hard switches out to Owen. Feel like he can just shadow sneaks. I hate this, but I think this is what I gotta do. I am absolutely prolonging this game, but I am leveling here. No, Fritz Lumberry, Aura Sphere, great. I'm getting up my recovery. I know I did this guy in my Aura Sphere. He could have Air Slash. There it is. Does this kill? No, put me in the same range. Power whip, here comes air slash again. Knock us out. And we lost. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. And we lost. <sighs> Oh, damn it. It is all my fault, though. I could have healing wish there, took that big risk, um, and got um, my Mel Metal back. I know that. So I think, like, it doesn't matter which Pokemon comes back, it's GG from here. There is no turning back. So, <sighs> yes, I, I, I lose to a potential 
role, but at the same time, had I gone for nasty plot over... Uh, like... You know, you know exactly what I'm thinking, yes. I don't mean to, like, I'm trying to think, you know, if a healing wish, I'm gonna lock myself in the earthquake, that would have been fine. Um, so I, I screwed this up. I know I screwed this up. I know. And it bothers me. It bothers me because there was no reason to. The game was back door on my hand the second he switched out, and I still choked. Mrs. Power Whip, did it suck? Yeah. Um, but it wouldn't have mattered. So, my opponent, Taylor, you play this game great. Um, I'm a bit frustrated that I missed the Fire Blast because I knew, had I connected, I would have possibly been in the range for winning. And, um, like I said, it bothers me, but at the same time, that's the risk I was willing to take. And uh, sometimes, just just how this game is. And uh, I had still a fun game here. So, well done to you, man. Um, I mean, what else is there to say? You did good. You did very good. So I'm very happy to have a chance to value. And of course, guys, make sure to check out his side of this game. I'm sure it can be just as dynamic as my side because I feel very defeated, but at the same time, the loss is my own. I had two chances of turning this one around that I might not have played. Or the Fire Blast miss, yeah, it's fine. But not going for Healing Wish was always considering that and not resetting. Yeah, that is absolutely on me. Um, so to my opponent, thank you so much for the game and for everyone watching. Thank you for doing just so. You guys are awesome. So, as always, have a great day, everyone. And, yeah, you know, take care. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.